Hello guys and welcome back to arguably the most exciting episode I have ever dropped on Manifest with Tori DeSimone. I'm your host Tori DeSimone and today is the long awaited, very much so anticipated episode of the 2023 Manifest Planner. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be going over the hard copy, the physical copy, the paper editions, all the same thing, um, and the digital editions for 2023. I have so much to talk to you guys about, so much to show you guys, um, that this episode is going to be posted on my main YouTube channel as well, because I'm going to be doing a flip through of the planners. And if you guys want to see the hard copy um, manifest planner, then head on over to my YouTube channel. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but if you guys are listening to this on audio, um, I'm sure you guys will be seeing this everywhere as well when I like blow it up on um, a Monday morning on my personal Instagram and on the Manifest Planner Instagram as well. But this is the very long awaited, very much so anticipated episode for the 2023 Manifest Planners hard copy and digital editions for the new year. I am so excited to dive into today's episode. So let's just like begin and um, talk about all the things that we need to talk about because there is like no time to waste. There's so much to get into. So um, the number one thing I know you guys are going to ask, when can I get my hands on this? I'm asked that all the time and I thank you guys so much for your patience. So everything that I'm going to be talking about today, the physical copy and the digital editions, they will be available for purchase on Friday, November 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern. So that's literally next Friday. If you guys are listening to this when this episode comes out on November 14th, next Friday, which is Black Friday, everything I'm talking about will launch, which is super exciting. So what exactly is launching? Um, there are going to be five products launching for 2023 for the Manifest Planner on Friday, November 21st at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So what's launching? First of all, the only hard copy edition ever of the Manifest Planner, and that is going to be the first ever edition of the Manifest Planner hard copy. I keep saying hard copy, physical copy, paper planner, like they are all the same things. I just don't really know what to call like a physical copy versus a digital copy. So if you hear me interchange with like a bunch of different things, it's the hard copy, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Um, what else is going to be launching? I have four digital editions of the Manifest Planner. And those four editions are a 2023 digital daily edition, which will be dated January through December 2023. And it's a Monday start. This has some updated things in it, which I will get into in a minute. I'm also releasing a 2023 digital weekly edition, which simply means there are no daily spreads. And I'll show you guys in that video, in this video, what that looks like as well. I'm going to do a flip through of it. That is dated. That is January through December, 2023, Monday start. This is a brand new product. I've never released a weekly edition before. And then I'm also going to be releasing a digital daily undated version. And this is an updated version of the current digital daily undated. And then I'm also releasing a digital weekly undated, which is brand new. So I will be showing you guys all of those today. And I could not be more excited to dive deeper into everything that we are going to be talking about today. All right, so let's get into all the goods. So let's get into where you can buy these, what they consist of, why I made them, why they cost what they do, how much they cost, um, and pretty much just like everything there is to know about the Manifest Planner. Again, if you guys want to watch the video where I will show the products, that is going to be on my main YouTube channel, which is Tori DeSimone. I'll have that link down below, and that will also show a flip through of everything that we're talking about in today's episode. So let's start with where to buy and how much each thing will cost. So the hard copy of the Manifest Planner will be $39.95, so $39.95. I tried to keep this as 
cheap as I possibly could. And I'll get into the story of the hard copy in a little bit, but I really, really, really tried to keep this as cheap as I could. And I'm really happy with this price point and really, really happy with where it landed. The digital um, copies of the Manifest Planner, whether you purchase any of them, they are all going to be the same price, which is $19.95, which is the same price of the current Manifest Planner. Um, I will be discounting the one that's available now, which is August through July, which is like the first ever edition of the Digital Manifest Planner that I'm going to drop down in price to $9.95 on November 25th. And then the current like undated one, I'm just going to take off and replace with the new undated daily edition. But the digital manifest planners will be $19.95 per each planner. It's not like you can get all four for $19.95. I don't think you need all four. So the hard copy is $39.95 and the digital edition is $19.95. And I'm really happy with these price points and where we landed at. So Let's start with where you can buy. You can buy these planners in multiple places. The main hub for everything Manifest Planner, including hard copy and digital copy, is going to be my new website, which is themanifestplanner.com. This website is not launched yet, but you guys can go to this landing page and add your email to a newsletter if you guys want. But this website will be launched by November 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. But um, it's currently under construction. I'm getting it ready for the launch, but you can buy everything Manifest Planner on the manifestplanner.com. The manifestplanner.com will have my hard copy planner and it will bring you to my Etsy shop for the digital editions of the manifest planner. One day I do plan to get off of Etsy for my digital planners, but at like Etsy does a really great job in the meantime. So my Etsy shop is etsy.com slash shop slash the manifest planner. And that will only host my digital products. Um, you cannot get a physical product on my Etsy shop. Etsy is just digital, but you can get to my Etsy shop through the manifestplanner.com. I'm trying to make everything as streamlined and as easy as possible in one place as a hub. So the manifestplanner.com is where you can purchase the hard copy planners and will take you to my Etsy shop for my digital planners. To make it simple, the manifestplanner.com is the place that you will go for both. Or if you are just interested in digital, you can go to my Etsy shop. I'm also currently building out ToriDSimone.com, which is pretty much just a hub of like all things me and all things Tori. So on there, there will be a link to purchase the Manifest Planner, but it will just take you to the manifestplanner.com. And again, if you want to buy digital, that'll take you to my Etsy shop. So I hope that sums it up. But to sum it up, you can buy the Manifest Planner in three places. The best place to go is the manifestplanner.com for both physical and digital. Etsy.com slash shop slash the Manifest Planner is my digital planners on my Etsy shop and ToriDesimone.com will take you to where you need to be. But the manifestplanner.com is your easiest place to go. Um, again, the cost $39.95 for the hard copy and the digital edition will be $19.95. So let's get into the hard copy. I know you guys want to see it. I know you guys want to hear the story all about it. So let me grab it and let me show you guys the hard copy of the manifest planner. Here it is. Dun, da, da, da. This is the hard copy of the Manifest Planner. You guys, this is a thick boy planner. If you guys are watching the video, you guys can see just how thick this planner is. So this is it. This is the planner. I am just like so thrilled and so happy to hold this planner, to show you guys this planner, to flip through this planner in just a few minutes. It is everything and it has been such a labor of love it's been so many trials and errors and failures and successes and learning curves along the way I have learned so much I still have so much to learn when it comes to hard copy planners I feel like I've just scraped the surface of what there is to learn and I thank you guys so much for bearing with me as I really do learn this process of creating and putting out a product. I've never put out like a physical product before. I've opened a brick and mortar studio. I've put out digital products, but never a physical 
product before. So this is really cool. If you guys are watching on video, this is the Manifest Planner. Ah, it's so, so freaking cute. Okay, so um, let me explain like the backstory and then we're going to get into the flip through and everything that you guys need to know about this planner. So when I first sat down to create the Manifest Planner, at its like conception, I knew that I wanted it to have all the things that I felt current planners on the market were lacking. And for me, those things were like goals in terms of long-term and short-term goals. It was a place to write my morning routines, my meal plans, my exercises for the week. I really wanted a place to reflect on my month. I wanted a place to plan my weeks. I wanted a place to do a weekly time block, a weekly review. I wanted daily spreads that had like just enough space for everything that I wanted to write down, like very long to-do lists and what I was eating that day. I wanted repetitions. I wanted to write down my morning routines for every single day. I wanted reflection. I wanted manifestation. I wanted gratitude. I wanted journal pages. I wanted a brain dump. Like I wanted every single day to have a daily agenda. I wanted purpose. Like I wanted so much in my planner that I knew that my very first release of my planner had to be digital. And the reason that I wanted it to be digital was because when it comes to physical planners, there are a lot of limitations that you run into. Um, you have to deal with page counts. There is limitations in binding. There's, you know, if you don't want your planner to be the size of a medical textbook, which I will actually show you guys another edition of the planner that is the size of a medical textbook. Um, if you want it to be low shipping cost, it has to be under a certain weight. If you want the colors to translate well from keep from computer to paper, I have to like adjust my color palette. Um, and not to mention you're fighting against the clock. For me, I was really wanting to get these planners out by the holidays, by Black Friday. And I, I think it's like so ironic that I procrastinated as much as I did for someone that's like releasing planners. Like you would think I'm like very on top of it, but no, like I really procrastinated this kind of a lot. I didn't mean to like time just kind of like snuck up on me. I'm like, oh my God, like I only have a couple more months until these have to be released. Like I would really need to get on this. You know what I mean? So anyway, with the manifest planner, I wanted the first round of it to be exactly how I pictured, which is why I did a digital launch for the first editions of the manifest planner so that I could get every single thing that I wanted on the manifest planner on digital because with digital, there's no page limits. There's no shipping costs. There's no binding limitations. There's no color differentiations. Like I can do everything that I want and there's essentially no money that I have to put out to it. You know what I mean? Like it takes a lot of time and my time, I guess you could argue is like money, but to me, like there's no printing costs. There's no shipping costs. It's pretty much just like my time, my ideas. And I do it all with my own little fingers and my own mind. And I make it all up and I do it exactly how I want it. And then I put it out on Etsy and then you guys get it and it's great. And that's how it's been. So then taking what I released in August and then putting that into a physical planner has been the challenge. When it came to creating the physical planner, I knew that there were so many things that I did not want to cut out, but inevitably I would have to cut out because my digital planner is like 600 and something slides, which means that each slide is technically like two pages. So it's over like 1200 pages and I can't put 1200 pages into a physical binded planner because that would be a literal like medical textbook. It would cost so much money and it would like the planner itself would cost so much money like for you guys to purchase. And then the shipping costs on top of that would just be absolutely insane. Plus to get it dated with all the tabs, like it just became so much of a huge undertaking that I didn't even really consider. So when it came to create the physical planner, I knew a couple of things in the beginning. And then you guys will see that this planner really has evolved over time. So I knew in the beginning that I wanted it to be dated and I wanted it to have tabs. And um, let me pull out a planner and show you guys what I mean by tabs. So this is actually a version of, and if you guys are watching on YouTube, you guys will see what I mean. This is a version of the manifest planner that will never be. Um, and it's kind of funny that it's just like an artifact that's never going to see the light of day, but it has tabs in it. So like you flip it open to a page 
and there's like tabs on the side. If you guys can see that there's tabs. And then there's tabs on the side. So I knew that I wanted the original version of the manifest planner to be dated with tabs. Um, and I wanted it to look as much like the digital manifest planner as possible, but very condensed. And that's what this edition is. And I'll explain like where I got this printed. Oh my God, excuse me. I'll explain like where I got this printed and why this will never be. Um, but I also had a page count to hit. So if I wanted to get all those elements dated tabs, within a certain page count, it had to be very, very condensed and finding printers to get this done was extremely difficult. So since I wanted tabs, my options were automatically limited and a lot of the options to get a planner like this printed was overseas. Something that I really, really wanted in my planner was that I really want it to be printed in the US because while overseas, the products are definitely cheaper, the shipping was enormous. Like I'm talking that like the shipping cost was more than the product itself. Like I'll just throw out some real numbers. Like if it cost me like 15 grand to have the printers print or the planners printed, it would have cost 25 grand to have them shipped over to me. Plus it was going to take 90 days minimum. Then on top of that, there are so much taxes that go into a trade deal that I had no idea about. Like you have to pay taxes on the trade. You have to pay an import tax on the product. There is just so much that goes into like an overseas quote unquote trade is really what's going on. So it would have just gotten like, so expensive already. Plus, if I were to do something like that, I was going to have to ship out each and every one of these planners from my house, which is no problem. That's what I was always planning on. But I was going to have to ship out these costs and um, or ship out these planners individually. So the shipping was going to take a little bit longer. And the shipping cost was something that because I was a new business, like I don't really get great shipping costs. So it was going to be pretty expensive to ship out these planners to you guys as well. So it was just becoming very expensive and I wasn't going to make the timeline. So then I started looking at local printers and the cost that I was getting from local printers. First of all, whenever I went to a local printer and I told them that I wanted tabs and I wanted it dated and I wanted it to be like this size and it was about 557 pages, they would look at me like I had 17 heads. And then I was getting their quotes sent back to me and their quotes I would look at them like they had 17 heads because they were quoting me like a hundred grand for a thousand planners. And that meant that you guys would have been paying like $120 for a planner, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And that's just like simply not going to happen. So I was starting to get really stressed out because this was only a couple months from launch, what launch was supposed to be, and the vision that I wanted updated with tabs within a certain page count was just really not happening. So I did order one sample from overseas that had dated tabs, and they told me that the sample would take like 10 days to get to me. It took a month to get to me. So I was like, I can't order through them because I'm just completely going to miss my timeline if if this is the case. Plus, once I got the physical planner back, it was just not right. Like it was things were too small. I mean, it's a great planner and it's just funny cuz like it's just the planner that will never be. Like you this will never like see the light of day, but it's like a fun artifact for me to have. But the print was too small. It was just like not really it. So Long story short, with all of this taken into consideration, it was time to change up my strategy. I was really starting to get nervous. I wanted to find a printer that was in the US with really good rates that could print everything that I wanted. But another worry of mine that I had was like, if I got a dated planner and if I printed, let's say a thousand of them and only 500 of them sold, then I just have 500 dated planners that come like March, April are kind of useless. So taking all of this into account, I completely reworked the planner and what I wanted it to be. So now I present to you the Manifest Planner hard copy first ever edition. And with everything that's taken place, with all the trial and errors, with everything that I learned, this is the planner that I have created that I really, really believe is the perfect planner, especially for my first launch. I'm beyond confident in it. I'm so proud of it. 
and it is everything that I could have possibly dreamed of. And comparing the two planners, like this one, which is the one that I'm selling versus the one that I envisioned in my mind, the one that I'm selling is so much better than I could have ever imagined. When I first got like the dated one with tabs, I was like missing something and I recorded it and I can like post that video, but it was just like missing something. Once I got this version of the planner, which is the one that I ended up selling and decided on, everything about it was so right. So this is the Manifest Planner hard copy first ever edition. This is a six month, okay, six months, 402 page planner. So you guys know I did not cut corners when it comes to things that the manifest planner needed. And I was extremely cutting corners with the other version of the planner. A six month undated version of the manifest planner for $39.95. Let's walk through this together and I'm going to do a flip through. It's everything that I could have wanted and I am just beyond thrilled and so freaking in love with this planner. I cannot wait to show you guys. All right, so here is the manifest planner. So I went with undated because having this be my first launch, I knew that I wanted something that would not expire. So if I printed a thousand copies, I could have a thousand copies forever. You know what I mean? Like these would not expire, quote unquote. And also when it comes to this planner of the hard copy, um, I will eventually have one that is dated with tabs, but for the first launch, it makes so much more sense to me and it makes me so happy to have an undated planner. Plus, whenever I ask you guys on Instagram, like dated versus undated, it's always 50-50 split down the middle. So I know that there's gonna be a group of you guys out there that definitely want a dated planner and I'm there with you. I also will be releasing one in the future, but for the first launch, it is undated and it is so goddamn beautiful. I I just like literally cannot wait to show you guys. So again, this is a thick boy planner. It is 402 pages. Um, on the side here, I have wire O binding. It's white. I was really adamant about this binding. A lot of printers wanted me to get spiral plastic bounding, but I was really, really adamant about getting wire O binding. Um, it's this gorgeous white. This cover is the first time I'm showing this cover. I completely created this cover all by myself. I did everything by myself, if I'm being honest. So um, let me open it up and show you guys and do a flip through of the manifest planner. So um, it opens up with this manifest planner belongs to, and I just have this little leaf about it. Now I've gotten a couple samples of this planner and every single time I went back and forth on um, very specifics about my pages. Like I did not want to be able to see any of the print through my planner um, on another sample, which actually let me just grab it so I can show you on another sample of this was like the first edition that they sent me this was a much smaller edition because it wasn't as thick page wise and um this one had spiral coil which i did not really like if you guys can see you can see right through the paper so this was way too thin that was 60 pound paper and then i added in 100 more pages and had them printed on a hundred pound paper 100 pound paper which i'll get into what that means in a minute if you're like me and you have no idea what that means but now i do so a um, hundred pound paper means that you can write on this paper with pen, with Sharpie, with highlighter, with marker, and it will not bleed through. Um, I have a couple test pages that I can show you guys that, but trust me when I say this is some thick, thick paper. Um, I will also talk about shipping and stuff in a minute with the hard copy, but let's do a flip through first. So you open up to this, this page uh, this manifest planner belongs to. Then it goes into a welcome letter from me and how to use the manifest planner. Then we go into your letter from your higher self. If you guys bought the digital planner, then you guys are familiar with this. I changed some of the verbiage, which I will get into it a little bit. So this is where you essentially start your manifestation exercises. I won't go too in depth because once you guys get the planner, you can read through it and know exactly what to do. But if you guys also listen to Manifest with Tori Simone often, then you are very familiar with that exercise. So that's how it starts. 
from the letter from your higher self, I then go into your life pie. And this is where you pull six priorities, which are common themes that show up in your letter from your future self. And from this, you will then create goals. So you create goals in five year, three year, one year, one month, one week and today goals. And then I have this um, little slogan. This is where you start living a well-rounded, productive lifestyle driven by manifestations, goals, and purpose, which is kind of like the mantra of the manifest planner. Moving on, we still are manifesting our higher self and our perfect ideal life. So this is a an ideal weekly routine, just what an ideal week in your life would look like your ideal morning, afternoon, night routine. I have that written out in two formats and then opportunities to show up as your higher self each morning, afternoon, and night. These are just like goals, ideal workouts, and an ideal meal plan. I added an ultimate tracker page. Now remember, this is a six month edition. So I put in eight here. So you could have it be like for something throughout half of the year. And I made it six months because I did not want to compromise the integrity of the manifest planner. And that's also why making this undated made so much more sense because when I had to have a dated planner, that was 557 pages. So I had to lose so much content that made the manifest planner the manifest planner. Once I made it undated and 402 pages, I could add back in all those things that made the manifest planner the manifest planner. So this really does not limit the integrity of the manifest planner. So I have the ultimate tracker. I have my book journal right here. Moving forward, this is the only like dated part of the planner. So you have your year at a glance and then your once a year. So this is where you could write in like, for example, um, like when, when you go to the dentist, I guess that's like technically twice a year, but like my Amazon prior payment is always in April. So like Amazon prime, I go to the, go to the dermatologist in January. So it's like stuff like that. They only do once a year. Then we move on to our monthly spreads. And this is how I kind of have always organized undated planners because I've used both dated and undated in the past. I love that undated has no pressure. Like you can kind of just pick up this planner when you need it and put it away when you don't. And you don't feel like you're wasting pages or wasting days or anything like that. So I always just use paper clips to keep track of like what month I'm on, what week I'm on and what day I'm on. You guys will definitely find your own system, but I just find that paper clips are the easiest for me. So this is your monthly spread. So up here, up on the top, you will write down the month and then you will just go through and write down the dates. I always have it starting on Mondays just because that makes the most sense to me. So here are your dates where you write down everything. And then down here at the bottom on the left side, it's your monthly goals. So you will write your six monthly goals in this little section. And it says, I have the opportunity to show up as my higher self this month when I accomplish these goals. To the right side of the page, we have a brain dump over here and then a goal tracker on the bottom. So then flipping the page, this is your month at a glance. The next page is your monthly review. Now on the other editions of the hard copy manifest planner, this was so sacrificed and I'm really, really happy to have this back in being in its full glory because I think monthly reviews are so important to growth. Looking back, seeing what worked, what didn't and all that good jazz. So like for example, if this was a January monthly glance, and then this would be a January monthly review. You write down your goals, check marked what you accomplished, any habits that you developed this month, any books that you read, the three best memories, and then you um, review your routine. So your morning, afternoon, night, what worked, what didn't, what are you going to continue doing things of that nature? And then over on the right side of the page, it's your wins from each week. So week one, two, three, four, five of what worked that week and what didn't, thoughts to leave in last month and positive intentions to bring into next month. And then you're going to rate how you feel going into next month. So I have this spread of the monthly at a glance and your monthly review, and that is repeated six times. So it kind of goes in order. Like these are meant to be grouped together. So I have them grouped together in the planner. So then once you get through your six spreads of this, it's going to bring you to the next set, which is your weeks. So 
with this being six months, I have 31 sets of your weekly intentions, weekly reflections, and weekly time blocks. And again, I have these all grouped together. So this is technically like all the same week. So week one, week one, week one to week one. So they are all grouped together. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, um, it pretty much like you guys can see it. But if you're just listening to the podcast, the left side of the page is weekly intentions. The right side of the page is weekly reflections. Then you flip the page and then it's a weekly time block that takes place over two pages. In other versions of the hard copy manifest planner that were dated with the full 12 months, this was another thing that was so sacrificed. And I was like, but this is the manifest planner. Like this is what makes it so special. And I did not want to sacrifice it. And like, it is just perfect. So I again put a paper clip here so that I could keep my page. So like if we're doing this in January, let's say this would be like I would write January up here and then I'd highlight week one. So then I have the opportunity to show up as my higher self this week when I accomplish these goals and then I'd write out my weekly goals. Over here I'm going to write out my morning routine that I plan to do for the week, my weekly meal plan that I intend to have this week and any movement that I want this week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then the weekend. Then moving on, once the week is over, I will come over to my weekly reflections highlight week one January week one and I'm simply reflecting on this week so when did I feel my best last week what did I learn about myself last week thoughts to leave in last week positive intentions to bring into next week and one word to describe how I feel going into next week plus a section of brain dump because I always like to have a place just to write out some thoughts and if you flip the page this then brings you to your weekly time block, which was something that I absolutely knew I did not want to sacrifice. I love the weekly time block. So keeping on the same theme, you would write January, highlight week one, and remember these are all a unit. So this is all talking about the same week. And in here, you're just going to time block your week. I went through it by the hour, but I separated it by the half hour. So like this is like 5 a.m. This is 530. And it goes from 5 a.m. all the way down to technically 1030, meaning it ends at like 11 p.m. So yeah, I have a time block for each day of the week and a little section for a brain dump. And then this repeats 31 times, which is over the course of six months. Then finally, we get to our daily spreads, which I love the daily spreads and I am just like so excited to show you guys the daily spreads. So um, in previous editions of the hard copy manifest planner, I had like a weekend spread with a week reflection and it was just not it. It was way too small. Everything had to be bigger. So I actually have this reprinted several different times to make it exactly right. And I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this paper is like so thick. It feels like almost like craft paper. It's very, very thick. It's a hundred pound paper. Like it's not going to bleed through. It's very thick paper. So on each daily spread, there are what's 365 divided by two, like 182 or something like that. There's, um, half a year's worth, six months worth of daily spreads. And every single day has its own spread. And again, I do this by paperclip so that I can keep track of what day I'm on. Oh, and this is my test page. So here, this is like a, a Sharpie highlighter. This is a pen. This is a marker. And then you flip to the next page and you don't see it at all. It does not bleed through. So that's really, really exciting. So, um, yeah, so I just use a paper clip to always keep track of where I'm at. So let's stick with the January 1st example. So I would write, um, January 1st, or you could, do, or sorry, like what I would do right here, what day is January 1st, Sunday? So it's Sunday, uh, one, one, two, oh, two, three. Like that's what I would write right here. And then I'd highlight the weeks. Like I'm very big on, it's a week by week planner. That's kind of just how my brain works. And that's how the manifest planner digital works. So I wanted that to translate into the physical copy as well. So you write the date up here. You can track your weather. Um, they are the same on both sides. And it's just like this through the rest of the planner. It's all the same throughout the rest of the planner. Um, so this is what it looks like. You track the weather. Um, on the left sides of the page, you have your agenda. Again, this is from 5 a.m. all the way down to 10.30 p.m. The font is really small on this side just because um, it's for 
the time increments, but you don't really need to read anything like that. So it's probably like the smallest that I have on the planner. Other than that, I try to make it as big as possible. So the agenda is over here on the left side. Um, on the right side, you have your health and wellness where you can track your breakfast, your lunch, your snacks, your dinner, and then your water intake. I have this in increments of six. Um, so you can kind of scale that to however that makes sense to your water bottles. Then I have a place right here for movement, which is where you're going to track your exercises for the day. Today's goal to manifest as my higher self is right here. So this kind of brings back that whole idea of your yearly goals translate into your monthly goals, translate into your weekly goals, translates into your daily goal. And that's where this is. Then I have a to-do list. I have 12 spaces here for your to-do list. And then at the bottom, I have a gratitude and affirmations. So you could save this last line to write like something great that happened to you. Um, you could write down three people you're sending love to. I try to keep this vague, but I still wanted to include this because it's very important to the manifest planner. And it's what makes the manifest planner the manifest planner. And again, this goes all the way to the very end of the planner. And unfortunately, for some reason that I don't know about, um, the, the, my printers, oh, I never even said this. I eventually found printers in the U S for such a great rate that will do the shipping for me. So I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Um, but for some reason, my sample printed out of order, they, um, assured me up and down a million times that like yours will not be printed like this, but all that they did was put the, like the last few pages in the middle of the planner. So anyway, after all of the daily spreads, what's going to happen is that you're going to have a mid-year review where it's pretty much going to ask you like, are you on track to accomplish your goals, habits you developed this past year that has best served you? Um, is the life that you're leading one that's best serving you? You're going to write down what your life pie looks like. And then I just have some more questions. So this will be on the left side and then this will be on the right side. Then I just have a bunch of journal pages. And then finally, the planner will end with a thank you note from me. But yeah, that is the hard copy of the manifest planner and kind of like back to what I was saying before about the printers. So I was able to find printers in the U S that could give such a great price point that I was able to make the planners 39.95 um, each for retail and they actually ship out the planners for me, which is amazing because they have really, really great fulfillment rates and really cheap shipping rates. So that means that when you guys receive the planners, they were not shipped from my house. They were shipped from the warehouse that the planners are produced in and stored in. So that really took so much off my plate. And um, they can guarantee really, really great shipping rates, which I would not have been able to. And I'm just like so happy with these printers. They're in the U.S. They have a really, really great cost. They're shipping out and um, they were able to make everything I want. So down the line, they will be making dated planners that have tabs. They just haven't been able to physically make those tabs yet. It's actually really hard to get these tabs made, which is something that I did not know about. So they are working on that for me. They said it could take a couple of months, um, but in future launches, there definitely will be a dated planner with tabs. But for the time being, the manifest planner is like perfect. You guys like it is everything I could have wanted. And I think I know you guys are just going to love this planner so freaking much. I'm so proud of it. I'm so over the moon excited and I just cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. I love it so freaking much. So it's a thick boy planner. We got 402 pages, 100 pound paper has everything you need. It's undated. It's six months. $39.95 and it is perfect. It is perfect. So I also asked you guys on Instagram um, if you have any questions. Oh, let me also say this very quickly before I get into your questions and then before we get into the digital planner. Um, let's explain. So the hard copies have a limited amount. Because this is the first print that I've ever done, I ordered 1,000 copies. And with that being said, like they have a limited quantity, the digital ones, they don't ever have like a limited quantity. I can always just upload more instantly, but because these are physical products, they do have a limited quantity. So there is a limited amount of these products. They go on sale Friday, November 25th at 12 PM Eastern on the manifest planner.com. And if you purchase a planner through November 28th, which is cyber Monday, you 
will get it before Christmas. My printers have guaranteed that, that you will get it before Christmas. Then if any quantities are left up until December 9th, you will definitely get your copies before Christmas. If you're in the immediate U S international shipping takes a little bit longer. So that's also why I'm just really happy that these are like undated so that like, God forbid, like they come like a couple days into January. If you're international, um, you're not like wasting days of your planner. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, so limited quantities. If you guys want these planners, I highly recommend to go on Friday, November 25th at 12 PM and get your planner right away because I know so many people have said that they wanted this planner and there is only a limited amount of these planners. If and when they sell out, I will do a reprint and a reorder of these planners, especially because it's only six months. Like if you guys use them every day, you will need another planner in six months. So there will definitely be more planners available, but if you want it for the new year, you need to get on Friday, November 25th at 12 PM Eastern and get your planner. Okay. Now I asked you guys on my Instagram, if you had any questions and there were a couple that came up that I don't think I already answered. Um, number one, will we need to wait until January 1st to use the planner? Technically no, because it's undated. You can really start it at any time. Number two, will the physical planner be on the same Etsy page as my digital products? No, this will not be on my Etsy page. This will only be on the manifestplanner.com. Do you ship internationally? Yes, but unfortunately, um, I do not have control of the shipping rates and my printers have tried to secure the cheapest that they possibly could. So the shipping rates are definitely more expensive than the domestic U S rates and it takes longer, but yes, we do ship internationally and we will continue to work on getting those rates down as cheap as we possibly can. The next question, if we order the physical planner, will we get it before 2023? If you order it, in that black Friday window from the 25th to the 28th. Um, or if there's any left and you order it by December 9th, yes, you will get it. Um, but like I said, since this is a six month, I will continuously have this planner be reprinted so you can order it more and more. But if you want it before 2023, you have to get it, um, during that black Friday time. But if you don't, and you wait, you'll probably just get it right after 2023 starts. How big is a physical planner? So it's seven by 10 and it's 402 pages. Okay. This is me holding it up for comparison. All right. So that is everything that you guys need to know about the hard copy planners. Now let's get into the digital planners. So for the digital planners of the manifest planner, I will be releasing not one, not two, not three, but four editions of the digital planners on my Etsy shop for 2023 for, should I say the beginning of 2023, since these are digital and I have no printers to get to, I have no limitations of page counts. I have no binding requirements. I have no shipping limitations. I can release as many editions of these as I want, and I can continually update new ones and have them start in February and March and April and all these sorts of things, which is definitely what I plan on doing. So for January, I should say, I have four editions of the Manifest Planner launching, which I'm so freaking excited about. So to reiterate what I said in the beginning, I have the digital daily edition that's dated January 1st through December 31st. I have the digital weekly edition that's dated January 1st through December 31st. I have the digital daily undated 12 month edition, and I have a digital weekly undated edition that's 52 weeks. Each digital version of the manifest planner retails for $19.95. You can get them on my Etsy shop, which is etsy.com slash shop slash the manifest planner, or you can get it on the manifest planner.com and it will direct you to my Etsy shop. Now let's do a flip through of all of the editions. I'm really just going to focus on the digital daily and the digital weekly dated editions because the undated editions are just exactly like the dated editions, but without dates. Makes sense, right? Um, so yeah, let's do a flip through of those. Okay, so this is the digital daily edition of the Manifest Planner. As you guys can see, this is a little crack in my table if you're watching on YouTube. As you guys can see, I made the cover of the digital editions the exact same as the cover on the hard copy. So how cute is that? I just think it's like absolutely adorable. 
So um, it all pretty much resembles the exact same as the beginning of the current digital daily editions of the Manifest Planner and the hard copy of the Manifest Planner. So if you guys already have it and you want the new one or you've been waiting for the new year, um, you should already be kind of familiar with this. But if not, it starts out with the same thing. This Manifest Planner belongs to welcome to the manifest planner, how to use it. And you guys can already tell that like there's more pages in the digital because I don't have like a page count and stuff like that to stick to. The entire planner, I should say, is hyperlinked as always. So you can easily flip through to all of the pages that you need and everything is hyperlinked. So that I always just like to say. So same thing as before, it guides you into a letter from your higher self. And if you guys have the current edition, then you know that this says future self. I changed a couple words throughout the planner that just more so aligned with the message that we talk about a lot on Manifest with Tori D. Simone. So we have this that you can flip through. It brings you to your life pie with your goals, where you have your five year, three year, one year, six months, one month, one week, and today goals. Then you have your ideal weekly routine. Um, your morning, afternoon, night routines, your ideal workouts, your ideal meal plan. This is all manifesting what you want. Then we move on into some of the bonus spreads that the hard copy does not have, such as grocery lists, workout splits, ultimate tracker, which the hard copy does have, um, content calendars in the form of monthly and weekly editions, um, a book journal, which the hard copy has, and um, some additional journal pages. So you have a lined page, a dotted page, a grid page, and a blank page. Now, if you guys have the current editions of the digital, then you will realize that I only added one page of each of these spreads. And that's because with a digital planner, you can copy and paste as many spreads as you guys like. So if you want more of the, let's say, book journals, because I know a lot of people like read a lot of books. So if you guys want more pages of the book journals, or if you want more pages of like this planner, for example, all you have to do is copy the page and then you can go here and you can paste this page wherever you want in the planner. So you can have as many of these pages as you want or not. Um, but yeah, I, instead of doing like four pages back to back that you might not use. I only put one in of each and then you can copy and paste the pages that you guys actually want and actually use. Um, what makes digital planning really cool is that it's so customizable. So I really like that. I have your year at a glance in the form of six months. So January through June. And then the second page is July through December. And these are all hyperlinked to take you to the month that you guys click on. And again, we do the whole once a year thing. So like if you know your Amazon Prime payments in April, you can write that here. I really tried to keep the digital and the physical planner as similar as possible. Moving on, there are a couple of good changes when it comes to the structure of the planners. So you have your month at a glance. And again, everything on here is hyperlinked. So like your weekly spreads, your weekly intentions, your daily spreads, everything is hyperlinked to where it needs to be. So it's very easy to flip through on the digital dated planners. Um, so in here we have our monthly at a glance. Then you go into your monthly intentions where you write down your goals that you want to manifest for this month, what you're manifesting this month, your ideal morning, afternoon, and night routine for the month. And then on the right side, we have a whole bunch of tracker pages that the hard copy edition does not have. Remember the hard copy edition only only has the goal trackers, but the digital one has goal tracker, routine tracker, sleep tracker, and mood tracker. Moving on to the next page, January has like a rogue Sunday, January 1st. So we're just going to skip over that and pretend like it's really not there. Um, for the digital dailies, I have them in the order of the weeks. And you guys know that from the original drop of the manifest planner, it really goes in like chronological order of the weeks. So you have your January weekly intentions, and this is for week one of the month. So what that means is that over here, you are going to write down your six goals for the first week of January, what you're manifesting for this first week of January, and your ideal morning, afternoon, and night routine. 
Then over here, it's going to ask about your weekly meal plan and your movement for this week. And this is all hyperlinked. Um, like if you were to click Tuesday, it's going to bring you to Tuesday, January 3rd of that week. And then you can always get back to where you were by clicking on your weekly intentions and then it'll bring you right back to the slide that we were just on. Um, another thing is that up here you can hit grocery list and it will bring you to the grocery list, which brings me to my next point, which is that the weekly meal plan on the grocery list is the exact same size as it is on your weekly intentions. And that's so that you can just copy and paste your weekly meal plan here onto your grocery list on there. So that's your January weekly intentions, which then leads you into your weekly time block. I use this religiously on my time block. And what's really cool about your time block is that I've made each day on your time block the exact same size as your daily agenda on your daily spreads. We'll get into that in a minute, but this makes it really easy to copy and paste um, from this slide to this spread. And on the current one, they are different sizes. Like in the day, it's much bigger. So you can't like seamlessly copy and paste, but on this one you can. And like, thank God, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first edition, but you learn every single time. So this is your weekly um, time block. And again, each day is hyperlinked. So then moving on from your weekly time block, you go into your daily spreads and you have one for each day of the week, um, including Saturday and Sunday. There's no special spreads for those. So on your daily spreads, it starts off with your morning routine, which your morning routine is not only the same size as your daily agenda. So these will fit into one another. It is also the same size as your weekly intention morning routine. So you can write down your morning routine in here. And then once you get to your daily spread, you can just copy and paste it. If that's what you wish, I try to make it easy. I also gave you guys two formats because I found myself writing this out in two different formats. So you have your morning routine by the time and then your morning routine by the activity. Moving on, you can track your weather up here, and then you also can track your health and wellness of breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner, water, and movement. Then this is all the same. I have the opportunity to show up as my higher self today when I accomplish this goal. You write your daily goal. You write your manifestations, affirmations, and gratitude right here, a little brain dump, and then a nightly reflection. Three amazing moments from today and one thing that you did for yourself today. Moving on to the right side of the spread, you have your daily agenda that goes from 5 a.m. all the way down to 10.30 p.m. So technically it ends at 11 p.m. I added a larger section for your to-do list and I added a today's top three. So you could write down your top three priorities on your daily agenda. And then following that is 12 more um, points for your to-do list. And then down here, I also just like to kind of section out calls, meetings, appointments, and any errands that you have to run. So then this just repeats for the rest of the week until you get to your weekly review for the week. And in here in your weekly review, you write, did you accomplish your goals? Were they attainable? Rate your week last week, a small win from each day last week. And if you forget, of course, everything is hyperlinked. I really wanted to make sure that everything got hyperlinked. And then you're going to write down what you're feeling extra grateful for. And it's going to also give you some prompts over here. So this has been condensed onto the hard copy, but the weekly review is still very much so there. You're going to write how you feel going into next week. And then this just simply repeats and repeats and repeats until the end of the month, which let's bring you to the end of the month. Then you get to your monthly review. In your monthly review, it's going to ask you if you accomplished your monthly goals, habits that you developed this month that best served you, any books that you read, the three best memories, your routine review, what you want to continue, start and stop, um, wins from each week from last month. And again, these are always going to be hyperlinked to take you back to your weekly review so you can kind of remember like what win each day was to kind of like jog your memory a little bit. Let me get back here to where we were. It's going to ask you any thoughts that you want to leave in last month, any positive intentions that you want to bring into next month and going into next month. How do you feel? And then the next page is going to be February 
you do your February monthly intentions, and then it goes right into the daily spread because this one is in the middle of a week. And then this, you guys, just repeats and repeats all the way until the planner is done. And the year so beautifully ends on Sunday, December 31st. So it's like gorgeous. You have your 2023 yearly review and a little thank you page from me. So that is the digital daily editions of the Manifest Planner. Now let me show you guys the weekly editions of the Manifest Planner. So you guessed it, the only difference of the daily to the weekly is that there are no daily spreads in this planner. There are only weekly spreads, but I added what I'm calling a week at a glance spread into the weekly edition planner. So the planner all starts the same. Everything is hyperlinked. All of your months are hyperlinked hyperlinked. You can get exactly where you need to be. All of your tabs are hyperlinked. Um, the front of the planner is exactly the same as the digital daily. This is all the same. Nothing has changed here. So let's get into January where things start to change. So you start with January. You have your month at a glance, exactly the same. Your monthly intentions, exactly the same. And again, everything has been resized. Like this will fit into your spreads. You'll see what I mean. Um, okay. Then you go into your January weekly intentions and this is all the same. Your weekly time block. This is all the same. Now this is typically where your daily spreads would start, but now I made this week at a glance slide. So your week at a glance has your week at a glance. So it has, this is dated. So it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all on the course of technically like two pages, but one spread. So each day has its own block and it starts off with you tracking your breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner, water, and movement for that day. Then it's a place here for you to write down your daily goal and your daily manifestations, affirmations, and gratitude. This was really important to keep for me even in a weekly edition because this is really what makes the manif manifest planner and journal me. Like it's, it's a non-intimidating way of journaling your day. So this has been super crucial. And I didn't want to just have a time block because you could technically plan like your whole weeks in the time block. And sometimes I do that. Like there are some weeks where I don't even use the daily spread spreads whatsoever. I just use the physical and I write like my to-do list within my working time blocks, but you can't journal in the spread. So I wanted to have pages dedicated to where you could journal. So that's where in the week at a glance, you have this set up and then you have your today's top three, you get to track your weather and then you have your reflection. So three amazing moments from today and then one act of self-care today. So then this just repeats, then you have your weekly review, then it goes into your next week of weekly intentions, time block, week at a glance, review, intentions, time block, week at a glance, review. And that just repeats and repeats and repeats all the way until you get to your January monthly review, which is right here. And then you get into February and that just simply repeats until the planner is done. And then of course you have your, um, planner that you can, uh, I'm losing my train of thought. What am I trying to say? Then you have like your yearly review at the end of it. But if I'm being honest, this is just a demo version and not everything is hyperlinked yet. Um, so just January is hyperlinked, but anyway, so that is the digital weekly edition. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, I might be using the weekly for the new year. I'm like obsessed with this. I don't know. I just think it's like so freaking cute and it's not overwhelming. It's only 272 slides or something like that, as opposed to my other one, which is like over 600 slides. So it's much smaller in size and it's just like everything you need and nothing that you don't. I'm like so obsessed with it. I really love the weekly. And then of course I have the undated versions. And the only difference is that instead of these tabs on the side saying the months, it will just say like what the spreads are. So it'll say month at a glance, week at a glance, um, weekly in intentions, weekly time blocks, daily spreads, things like that. Um, so the only difference is that it won't be dated and very similar to the hard copy. You will just fill in the dates on your own, but guys, that is the manifest planner. I like cannot believe that I just recorded that episode because this has been like the longest time coming. You guys have no idea, but that is everything about the manifest planner, about the hard copy, about the digital copies, about everything that you guys need to know. So they go on sale Friday, November 25th at 12 PM Eastern. The hard copy is $39.95. The digital versions are $19.95. 
Um, Themanifestplanner.com is the hub for everything. Oh, and I forgot to even mention this. I get so many questions every day about how to digital plan. Like so many people always say to me, Tori, I want a digital plan, but I don't know how. So by the new year, I'm going to be launching a Patreon for $5.99 a month where I will teach you tutorials. There will be an endless library of tutorials of how to use the digital manifest planner on an iPad in GoodNotes. It will have everything in there from how to import your planner to how to use your planner, how to hyperlink your planner, how to maximize your planner. Like everything that you guys can think about will be on that Patreon. It's $5.99 a month and it's a video library of tons of tutorials of how to use the Manifest Planner um, digital. I get so many questions about it and I figured that this would be the best way to get as much content out there for people that are genuinely interested and want to learn. And once you guys like kind of get your gist about it and your knowledge, you can cancel the Patreon. You don't to keep paying for it. Um, but I wanted to have it on there so that you guys could get the learning that you guys needed, the education that you guys needed. And I'm so excited. So keep, um, keep your eyes peeled for when that is going to be announced and launched. I'm going to launch it before the new year starts. So if you guys get your planners for the new year, um, you guys can like learn how to really maximize your digital planners. Um, and that's also a great gift to give to someone for the new year, like a Patreon gift card. Um, if you like buy them with this planner and stuff like that, but also keep your eyes peeled because I have a very exciting giveaway coming out coming up very 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 soon um, that I think you guys are going to really really enjoy so keep your eyes peeled for that that's coming out very soon um, but other than that this has been a mega long episode so I thank you guys for sticking through it and for watching this video if you guys were watching it on YouTube and watching the flip through I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys found value out of it and I am so excited for you guys to get your hands on the manifest planner it is everything I could have wanted and yeah, I'm just so excited. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I will talk to you guys all very soon. Happy Manifest Monday. The Manifest Planner launches next Friday. Get your hands on it. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.